Some stuff about soldering. What we need to do for soldering is to make sure that both components are clean, fluxed, tinned before they're assembled together. And to start the ball rolling, you need to have a good soldering iron, not a gun, but an iron. You want an iron that's uh, approximately 40, 45 watts. Don't go for a lower wattage iron. It's going to be a real problem when you're trying to solder components to uh, the back of uh, pots, very large metal surfaces. They don't heat up very well. You keep the tip clean. Here I'm using some shredded up bronze and you can use a wet towel or a wet sponge. They all work good. You want to get it nice and bright and clean. You want to tin it. You have to use flux. I'm using Radio Shack gel flux and you can just touch it to I already have strips of solder cut up on a little board and um, you can grab a little bit of it. You can see that it tins out really nicely. Now the component themselves, each part, each piece has to be cleaned up. So here we have a jack, a regular switchcraft jack, and what we want to do is I want to make sure that the, uh, the terminals are clean and free of any oxide. So I used a little piece of a cut off piece of an emery board and it does the cleaning really nicely. And then we need to flux it. A little flux onto the terminal. Not too much, doesn't take much and uh, then we'll just put some solder on it. Um, it might cover up the holes and if it does, if it does we can actually punch through those holes uh, with anything like a, uh, a toothpick or I use barbecue skewers here. That one's covered up pretty well. This one isn't. So what I want to do is I want to open that up so I take a uh, whoops, I take a barbecue skewer and uh, melt it and stick the skewer in and oh, we got a hole. Now we take the leads that are going to go onto here. This is cloth covered push up wire. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flux it each at each terminal end and I'm going to tin them with a little bit of solder. So now both units have been uh, tinned and black goes to the ground side so I'll simply put that into the hole and uh, you can add some, you can put some more flux in here. It doesn't hurt to do it. It's going to make it go that much faster and put a little bit of solder on the tip of my gun and just touch it to it and great little soldering joint. Don't blow on it. Just let it cool off on its own. If you blow on it, you're liable to uh, make a, a bad bond, a cold joint, as they say. And so here we'll push this in here to this hole. I'll bend it over a little bit. Grab some solder on the tip of my soldering iron and just touch the side of it to it. Make a little puddle and look at that. That's about it. Done that easy. Not much to it. So again, clean, flux, free tin, each piece is going to be soldered and then they can, they'll can they solder just about instantly. You just apply some heat, a little bit of solder to the two joints that are, that are touching and you get a really great good solder joint. That's pretty much it. Not much to it. Real easy. Soldering 101. Okay, what we've got is a Tele control plate uh, with a Triton three-way switch and a couple of CTS 250K pots. I'm going to put the knobs on. And I've already taken the tone pot apart and set it uh, as a no-load, created a no-load out of it and then put, put it back together again. So essentially the first thing you need to do is um, have a good soldering iron, something that's a good 40 to 45 watts. You need to have flux, and here I'm using Radio Shack's gel flux. Um, you need to have a little bit of sandpaper so you can clean stuff off. So for example, one of the first things I want to do is 
clean off the area of the back of the pot where all the grounds are going to go to. So we'll do with this and I'll put a little bit of flux on it. Just a little bit. And then we get our nice soldering iron and I'm using a very special soldering station that allows uh, me to get up to um, actually I got this set at 725 degrees and I just take pieces of solder and um, clean the tip I clean the tip on this which is just some bronze mesh almost like steel wool but bronze cleans it dip in get a bit of flux and there we put a nice little blob of solder that I'm going to use to attach the cap, 22 UF cap. Now clean the leads up a little bit. Cleaning is the first step. Second step is using flux. Third step is tinning. A little bit of copper on the tip and just tin it. Once it's tinned, you can put them in place where they go. Um, anything that's going to get soldered, especially the lugs, I'm going to uh, hit it with some flux. Put this up into here. This goes into here. And I can solder this now. ground side and there we go cap is soldered in nicely